guys, so today's video is going to be my March favorites. Um, I feel like the month of March, I got so many new products. Um, I like could not stop myself. So I have a lot of new things to show you guys. I hauled most of it, so you probably have already seen it before if you keep up with my videos. But I'm going to go ahead and get started with the first product, which is my um, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I have been using this every single day the entire month of March for my foundation. I feel like it just is the perfect amount of density and the perfect shape to really just make your application look flawless. Next two products are nail polishes. The first one is called Harmonious Mess and it's just this really pretty like um, grayish blue. It's a gorgeous color. It's what's on my nails right now. I love this color. I got it for $5 on clearance at Ulta. Um, and yeah, definitely pick this up. I think it'll be so pretty for spring and summer and I just love it. And then the other one that I'm obsessed with right now is Orly again. It's called Pink Waterfall. Obsessed with this color. It's like a pink, a pinkish purple and it's just gorgeous for spring and summer. Next, I have been absolutely loving the CoverGirl True Blend Liquid Makeup. I got the color M6 and I just love the coverage. I think it's perfect for me. It's uh, light to medium. I think it's more of a medium than a light. Um, when I think of light coverage, I think more of like a BB cream. So this definitely has more coverage than that. So I would say like a medium coverage. Um, but it just blends into my skin really nicely and makes my face look natural looking and not too cakey. So I've just been really enjoying this and I like the color of it. I think the color matches my skin really well. So I've been loving that. I finally got on the bandwagon with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I got the color NW20. Um, I, NW25 was like three shades darker, so I wanted it for concealing, but I also wanted it for brightening. So I had to go with N20 because N25 would have been too dark, but I love this concealer. It's amazing. It gives great coverage. It's really creamy and easy to blend and it just looks really, really flawless on the skin. So I've been really loving that concealer. Next, I have been loving the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. I actually had given this to my sister because I just never, I think I moved on to something else. I can't remember what it was, but I don't know what happened. She must have left this here and I started using it, using it again and I use it to set under my eyes and my T-zone and I love it. This is 005 Silky Beige, and I just, it's a great pressed powder, so I've been really loving that again lately. Next is the Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. I got the color number 230 Fair Light. This is really nice for under the eyes, for brightening. It doesn't have as much coverage as the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, but it has enough coverage, and it's really super blendable and just easy to work with. So... I do really like this and I also like that it has like a squeezy tube with a brush. It just makes it a lot easier for application and I also love this as well. Next I've been loving this Maybelline Quad in Autumn Coppers. It's just a really gorgeous, they're folly shades but I didn't, I still like them for spring and I will probably still wear them in summertime because they're just so gorgeous and pigmented. They complement each other so well, and I just really like how how easy it is to apply. Like, because it says base, lid, crease, liner. It says it on the eyeshadow, and then on the back it has a picture of where everything goes. So I feel like it's pretty easy to follow, and all the colors look great together. So you don't have to worry about if they mesh well together or whatever. They're just nice and easy and super pigmented and cheap. So I really have been loving this quad. Next, I have been loving this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in Camel. And it's a gorgeous, like, I don't even know how to describe this. It's like a mustardy brown, I guess. I don't know, but it's just so different. I don't have anything like it. And I heard Jaclyn Hill talk about it and it looked really gorgeous on her eyes. So I thought I would check it out and I love it. It's super pigmented as always um, and it's just a nice unique color. So I really have been loving that. And then I also have been loving this MAC shadow. This is called Amber Lights and it's a frost. Oh my goodness. And it actually looks really good with Camel. 
Um, here it is right here. I had it on in my last video. I just love this color. It's again, I feel like it's really unique. Um, it's really pigmented and it just like makes your eyes pop. So I really love this color. The last eyeshadow I've been wearing a ton this month is the Lancome color design eyeshadow in a touch of coral and I got this again because it was very springy I didn't have anything like it and it's super pigmented the pigmentation lasts you all day long I'm wearing it on my lids today gorgeous gorgeous color I highly recommend this shade especially for spring and summer I think it's gonna be just so pretty Oh, I just I can't get enough of this shade. Uh, next for highlight, I have been wearing my Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle pretty much every day. Um, I love it. It's very pigmented. It's just the most beautiful highlight. And yeah, I've been wearing it every day. The next product I have been wearing a ton is my MAC Blush in Pincho Peach. I have just been wearing this almost every single day. But today, go figure. Um, what I'm wearing today, I'm going to show you next, but this blush is just stunning. It's a sheer tone blush, but I find that it's so pigmented. It does not need to be built up, but you can build it up if you want. Um, but I feel like it gives enough pigmentation with just one swirl. So, um, yeah, I just love this. It's the perfect color. It goes with every eye look, every makeup look, and it's just my go-to lately. So next I've been loving my Laura blush. This is in Rendezvous and this came in a kit. Um, the red from something, a red carpet. Um, but yeah, love, 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 love this blush. It's gorgeous. It's got like, it looks like it has some kind of shimmer in it, but when you put it on, um, it just kind of has a sheen. It's just beautiful. Here it is right here. It's super pigmented. That's what I have on right now. Cannot get enough of this. It's just gorgeous. So I love Lorac blushes. You can't go wrong with any of them, I don't think. Next is my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, when I first bought this, I was not impressed. It was a really... <laughs> it was a really wet mascara and it flaked a lot. But I tried it out a couple weeks ago and it didn't really flake too much, but it made my eyelashes look so pretty that I could kind of look past a flake or two. So yeah, it makes my lashes just look really thick, long, and really black. So I really have been loving this. I wouldn't say, um, I wouldn't say I'd repurchase it again just because it is 20 something dollars and I do feel like my L'Oreal Voluminous does the same thing. But for $20, I wanted to just keep on using it until I used it up. So um, I've been using that a ton this month. Um, and then the last two products are lip products. The first one is this Maybelline Color Elixir in... <sighs> I swear, they know. they're doing this on purpose. I, I know they are. Oh my gosh, okay. Next is the Maybelline Color Elixir Lip Gloss. This is the limited edition color in Polished Petal. It's a light, light pink. But what I like about this is it just gives any darker color or any lipstick just a nice finish to it. And it lightens up any dark, any dark lipsticks. And um, it looks good on its own also. So here it is. It's just a nice light shade. Um, I would say... It reminds me of Turkish Delight a little bit just because it is so light and uh, the formula of these are just amazing so you can't go wrong with those. Last two products I have been loving. One I don't have because it's in my purse which is in my garage which is in my car and I just don't feel like getting it but it is the Lancome lipstick in Pale Lip. Obsessed. Most gorgeous color ever. Love it. It's my everyday lipstick right now like I don't know it's just amazing and it the formula is so creamy and it stays like so long I was gonna say all day but I don't know about that but it just stays so long and I just love it so that is in my purse I did show it in a haul if you want to see that but um this one which I have on right now is my Revlon Primrose which is a cream and I just love this shade it just is so pretty it's so funny because here it is right here it's not a nude I guess it could be a nude but it's more of like a purpley pink which is I feel like not in my box 
but for some reason this is like one of the lipsticks that I just love and I can rock every single day I love this lipstick it's just gorgeous and I know it would be beautiful on every skin tone so yeah if you don't have primrose you are totally missing out because it's beautiful okay I think that's everything I feel like I could have like a hundred more things to show you guys but these are the main things that I've really been wearing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye. Next product is the L'Oreal. <coughs> no. Um, next is the Rimmel Match Perfection. This is the 2-in-1 concealer and highlighter. I got the color Fair Light. What? Huh? What, Bubba? Where's Sissy? Next, I've been loving. Next, I have been loving the Maybelline um, quad in. <clears throat> what? Why? All right, hang on. Woo! I'm dropping everything. Okay, last products. I didn't want to get, I didn't want to, ooh. Shadow I have been wearing a lot this month. Um, wait, am I wearing it today? Um, the next product 